Alright, so for some reason, my Elgato didn't record live commentary for this part of the playthrough. Once again, we're just gonna pick off right where we left off, though, during the last... <laughs> well, it's funny, I mean, so many mistakes, it's uh, kind of ridiculous at the same time. Uh, but in the previous uh, part of the playthrough, I got stuck because, well, Ubisoft decided to finish installing the last 10% while I was actually playing. <laughs> but alright, well, uh, that's what I get for not getting a disc, I guess, or for having a third world potato internet connection. But oh well, it works. I mean, it's installed, so there you go. Anyway, uh, for some reason, another thing was that my Elgato just lost the live commentary for this. So, that really sucks. <sighs> that really, really sucks. So, I'll just be commentating over it. Actually, just waiting for this great loading screen. I was actually, I actually said it in the live commentary that this loading screen lasts a little too long. I mean... I don't know, I, I think I'll definitely cut it off for the future, I mean in the future I'll just start right off the game. <laughs> Alright, still. There we go, exactly where we were before. In the darkness, escaping from everything. Where are you, Jordy? What? Gone? I'm allergic to cops, so is Maurice, but don't worry, I left you a present. Friend of a friend deals in pre-owned cars. Got a real beauty waiting for you in the garage across the street. Take it or leave it, I don't care. Gotta go. Alright. So, yeah. Yeah, so this is what actually happened during the Super Bowl. <laughs> during the last Super Bowl. It was Aiden Pierce, you know? He's the one who took the lags out. This is real. This is based in real events. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, of course. So when police are blah, blah blah, you gotta exit the gray circle. Yeah, at this point I was actually looking for that gray circle, but that's only when they're pursuing you. So yeah, I'm all casual, just, yeah, I'm not gonna escape, nobody knows who I am. Don't really have to hide, but, you know, just in case. Can't lose anything by hiding from the cops, besides looking suspicious. Here, I'm actually a little lost, I don't even know where I'm going, I don't even know where the car is, I haven't yet looked at the map, which uh, has a car icon. So I'm like, thinking, where is it, where is it? And I'm trying to not let the cops see me no matter what. I actually got a little scared here because I was like, what the hell? Why is he getting over here? I mean, he didn't even see me, I think. So I just went away, but whatever. Okay, cops are away, so... At this point I'm crossing because I thought it was on the other side of the street that the car was. But I'm still lost. And I don't want the cops to see me. CTOS makes it easier for you to get hacked, <laughs> if I may say so. And that is the whole problem of automating things. Okay, the car turns around, and I'm safe. So I'm kind of like looking into where is this garage that the guy was talking about, but still not finding it. And at this point, I think, is when I realized that there's a um, car icon in the map. Yes, I think that's the case, because now I'm going straight for it. Wow, Aiden is as fast as a van. Or, as a fire department vehicle, actually. But yeah, that. Aiden Pierce is the one and only. So, here we are. Well, it's a decent car. It's not a sa exactly a Lamborghini or anything, but... It'll do. 
uh, how to drive, accelerate, R2, brake, all 2 reverse, handbrake, circle, X to look behind you, left to change cameras. I think I got it. My connection to Ubisoft has been lost. My features will not be available. That's fine, because I don't want to get hacked right now anyway. I'm just testing the controllers right now. Taking my first driving lesson. If it may be called so in the world of Watch Dogs. Trying not to collide with anything in order to not be more obvious. So, here I go. Started hitting the gas a little and the game kind of freezes there. Yeah, it annoyed me the same when I was there. And it's gonna freeze again. That's actually not proper for a game like Watch Dogs to do, but okay, there it is again. A huge freeze. But okay. Whoa, and I need to start Copy that. A patrol car is bashing everything. Suspect. Yep, sorry about that. Not intentional, still learning. Whoa, psh, clearly not aware. You know, I was having trouble here with the L2 and R2. You know, I still wasn't quite getting the hang of breaking. Here, I'm starting to learn how to break. Finally got the goddamn trigger, man. Just need to break through. How? Push more, he's hard. Torture's not gonna work on this guy, so I need to get inside his head. The guilt is eating him up. I'll give him a couple of days. I bet he'll start reaching out. Hmm. I hope you have a plan. Okay, so here they explain me how to use a world map. World map. Use the GPS marker and marking objectives. Also, that I can fast travel. That's funny. Just like in Assassin's Creed. Awesome. But for now, I'll just toggle the map real quick because, well, I can use it. So here we go. Looking for the destination and looking a bit at the map at the same time just to have so wait a sec I get a route to the place I'm going that's actually pretty nice Google Maps for free <laughs> in the actual game oh and there's a line there's a line on the pavement telling me where I have to go that's just pretty beautiful a real improvement, if you compare it to Assassin's Creed, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, they also give you something in Assassin's Creed. Whoops. Wait, wait. Alright, just taking a little speed. And using the brakes a little more than before. Let's see. Oops, still not quite there yet. Uh, traffic lights. Garbage traffic lights, turn them on. <laughs> right, so let's see. Out of my way. Oh my god, this guy is so slow. Out of my way. Yeah, hit the gas. Let's do this. Mm, ah, shit. Ah, there's just low vehicles in the way. Every time I'm about to go too fast, I just kind of like slow it down. <laughs> I don't want to be. Oh, 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 oh! You see, that's when, how I got my my driver's license for the Watch Dogs World, or maybe like that. <gasps> that was a little crazy, but I went a little too far because I'm not going there. I'm going over here. So yep. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Now for the parking test. Da -da 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 -da. Out to the other side, bro, to the other side. Nope. Oh, okay, front now. Front and to the other side. Almost. Not quite. Almost. Oh, yeah, there. No. Oh, oh, okay, okay, now. Front. Little. Little. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. There. 
Here I'm gonna be struggling on how to get out of the car because I'm pretty much trying every button, including the profiler, hiding in the car, and whatnot. Until I finally press triangle, which is the actual button that you use to get out of the car. Oh, that's Spanish. <laughs> I didn't notice they were speaking Spanish before. Hmm. Uh, here I was wondering kind of like what could I do with the profiler. But yeah. Nothing really impressive here. I was maybe looking for something, but who knows. Probably not gonna get anything. Some sweet home. These guys. I heard stories, man, that like nothing I've ever seen before. You gotta walk away from this, man. Why are you sitting here? Because I can. He's coming, right? <laughs> Not like last time. Jackson, I did invite him. It's been so long. Are you sure you called the right number? Honey, your uncle's a different kind of person. It doesn't mean he doesn't love us. At this point, I thought that the woman, like the... That was her, his sister. So I think she must have known, I mean, about his hacking activities. Because of what she said. I mean, okay, he's a different guy, but he still loves us. So that kind of sounds like she knew. I think. I personally think that. That was a very dangerous punch you pulled right there. Could have hurt your arm. Well, your hand. And... I trust our info in finding Maurice was correct. We gained access to the CTUS backdoor while the police were being distracted by you. Since we both win in this, we'll share what we have. That backdoor allows you some access to the CTUS network. I'm still working on something bigger. Give me time. Hmm. Uh, this moment for skill points. Here I'm actually just kind of like wondering what I'm gonna be spending my points on. First point, you gotta use it uh, necessarily on gates on garage. Not sure for what reason, but they just force you into it. I was kind of trying to cancel here until I finally chose. I see there's only one option: accept, <laughs> accept or die. So since it's the only option, I activate it. Um, and now I'm wisely evaluating what I'm going to be spending my pawns, my points on. Reading the descriptions of everything. This is a train one. Definitely a good one to have in case of emergency. Old blocks. <sighs> and here I'm going to other areas, not just hacking. Rather, I'm testing, checking the combat abilities. I'll probably not be fighting a lot, so. Didn't think that would be really necessary. Just check, just in case. Crafted items. You get jam comms, jam communications, and. What's the other one? Um, oh yeah, that's the blackout. But for the blackout, you need the previous one. So yeah. Also, I think you need to be another level of something else. Not sure what. But as a frag grenade, that's the other option. Here I'm looking at driving. Decided that option is really good, the option to be able to steal any car. So let's see, I think I'm about to get to the point where I start choosing everything. I remember that during the stream, uh, the live stream from the Ubisoft guys, they said that the hacking skills will usually be the most needed at the beginning when trying to escape and such. So I decided I wanted to invest 
uh, most points in hacking. Starting by bridges, going to blockers. That was about it as far as that goes. I wanted to be able to open the cars. Don't need defensive driver because I don't intend to collide a lot. I hope. <laughs> I hope. And let's see. For the last point, I decided I wanted an extra battery. That's definitely gonna uh, have to be related to the fact that the sa the cell phone gets discharged over time. So I guess you lose all your all your hacking skills if that is not the case. Focus. I also remember that the people on the stream said it was a great ability to have because you slow down time. But I don't know how how that'll work on online play. I mean. I don't think that Focus is... Well, well, we'll see once I play online as well, but I don't know. Finally, the last point, I decided to go for the extra battery. Yeah, so that the cell phone doesn't get discharged. It's actually a pretty nice skill tree. I mean, I like the way they interfaced it. Here I'm looking at the notoriety skills, and I'm not sure how I get those points, but I guess it's by playing multiplayer or something. I see something I can hack. Hack it! Yeah, <laughs> if I can see anything to hack, I hack it. It's just the press of a button. <laughs> User has rest, rest changes the time of day, fills your focus and saves your game. It will reset your heat, whatever that is, and it's not available during missions. That's fine. Just picking up all the items around the house. Here's the wardrobe. In the wardrobe, you can choose a different uh, set of clothes. Surely you can buy more styles later. Here I chose the white hat. I just wanted to give him a little look, but it actually does look quite sick, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, you're the boss, Aiden Pierce. So let's see, just picking more items, chemical component, another weird component over there, unstable chemical component, alright, let's see what that'll do, I will see, um, looking for more stuff to hack at this point, or maybe items to pick, and there's that, intercept the audio log, just gonna hack it. That's when the guy got picked out. <laughs> Still looking for more objects, but doesn't seem that's gonna be the case. Doesn't seem there's anything else. I'm just kinda like looking around, but that was the last of it. So I'm going to my good old bed. See how to use it. Triangle. I can set the alarm clock, so I can set the time I will wake up to. Here I'm gonna be kind of like thinking about it, mm, kind of thinking about putting it just at seven. I guess I'll wake in the morning. It'll probably be interesting. And there we go. All right. Well, there I chose it. <laughs> I actually said it earlier. That's actually pretty sad. 
Even up here. Hmm. Well, guys, I think that's gonna be it. <laughs> we're, I'm just gonna wake up here and it's kind of where the first playthrough was intended to end. Her tiny face pressing the window when she knows I was coming over, or that little wobbly dance she did. It's always the same nightmare. Yeah, as usual. That's pretty sad. <laughs> as usual, if you liked, if you liked, remember to hit the, the like button. If you want more, subscribe. Definitely gonna be more watchdogs and. I will see you next time.